I'm now going to spend a few minutes just to highlight Cochrane's approach to responsible use of AI. But given Cochrane's reputation for independence and setting standards, one of our focus areas is to help define responsible use of AI in systematic reviews. Any AI tool incorporated into our review processes must uphold the trust that users place in our evidence. And so understanding what we mean by trust and, and defining appropriate levels of validation is really vital here. Considerations include things like data and algorithmic bias, the longevity and the sustainability of tools, their transparency, reliability and validity, and fairness and equity, all things that Anna and James have, have already mentioned today. And given the size and the impact of this area of work, we know that partnering with other organisations who produce evidence synthesis is best. It's, it, well, it's the only way forward. Um, we're therefore working with the International Collaboration for Automation in Systematic Reviews and the Campbell Collaboration to start bringing together these organisations. And our first step will be to share initial um, guidance on this responsible use um, of AI tools um, before the Global Evidence Summit in September. Um, we'll be sharing this as a preprint, at which point it will be open up for public comment and feedback. Um, we're currently collecting the names and details of anyone who wants to provide feedback on that guidance. So if that's you, please use this QR code on the screen, um, which will take you through to the web form where you can add your details. I'll also pop a link in the chat um, once I've finished speaking. We've also had a special session accepted at the Global Evidence Summit on these guidelines, um, which will include Cochrane, Campbell, JBI, and the International Collaboration for Automation and Systematic Review. So please do join us if you are there. <clears throat> we envision that this guidance will develop iteratively um, over 2025 and beyond. With the first version, including areas where there's current consensus, um, along with kind of other areas for further research. And this will really help us build our plans into 2025, particularly around if we need to source funding to address gaps in, in best practice. And by making these standards publicly available, not only will they help define accuracy standards and help inform policies and best practice, but it will also provide AI tool developers or those working with AI um, uh, technologies um, to have something to aim towards when they're developing their tools in, in, in terms of standards and, and, and recall and, and accuracy. And our goal is to develop um, an environment that maximizes the accuracy and integrity, um, as well as, you know, at the, this is because at the moment, in a lot of cases, um, Accuracy can be sacrificed for convenience, especially if you're looking at kind of marketing materials for, for some of these tools. And so as well as developing these guidance, um, Cochrane encourages these studies within a review or SWARS that, that James mentioned, um, and research that looks at the feasibility or validity of the accuracy of the tools. And we also encourage the public sharing and publication of this type of research. And Cochrane's journal, Cochrane Evidence Synthesis and Methods, our new open access journal, is a, is a home for these types of publications. And on the screen, you can see a recent example from the journal, which was a feasibility study looking at the use of large language models to create plain language summaries. And this robust evaluation and validation is going to be really key for Cochrane to be able to make decisions on endorsement for different AI tools. There is so much exciting work happening across the Cochrane community and the wider community in evidence synthesis. Um, and we're getting ready, we're getting the route ready for endorsement um, so that they can be used in Cochrane reviews. And how we make decisions on this endorsement will complement what's in that guidance for responsible AI, AI use. So um, expect to hear more about this route just before the Global Evidence Summit when that first draft of the guidance is also released. And Cochrane has recently um, launched a new editorial policy that aligns with guidance from the Committee of Publication Ethics, or COPE, and our publisher Wiley, which does permit the use of AI when writing Cochrane reviews or in, in preparing your manuscript. So this policy permits AI use under certain conditions. It says that 
um, AI tools cannot be credited as authors. The authors bear full responsibility for the article's accuracy and validity. And a transparent and detailed description of the AI tools used and the content generated is included in the manuscript. So authors are entrusted with selecting the tools and they are ultimately responsible for ensuring the manuscripts, um, the manuscript that they submit to Cochrane um, meets the, the standards of, of quality and integrity that is expected. Um, another example of AI use in um, in writing is that um, the Cochrane translation teams use um, translation software that has AI powered quality assessments. And so in summary, um, Cochrane is committed to ensuring the responsible use of AI in its systematic reviews. That's been our position with developments with automation over the last decade and will continue to be our position as we move forward. With the developments of generative AI, there are new opportunities and challenges for automation in systematic reviews. And we're really excited to explore the responsible application of those tools while balancing the, uh, the need to uphold research integrity standards. And we're working really hard behind the scenes to stay ahead on AI, and we're keen to work with anyone interested in developing ethical AI standards and practices. We are very aware that this can't be done alone, and we really do look forward to collaborating across the field to help define these standards. And we we encourage everyone um, from across the field, across the community, any of our partners to get involved, share ideas, and help us shape how we use AI.